All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a very interesting Smith & Wesson revolver. This is the 431 PD, which is chambered in 32 h and mag. This is a six-shot revolver with a single double-action trigger and an exposed hammer, and the J-Frame Airweight Frame Series, very similar to the 642 Smith and the 442 Smith, very popular in 38 Special. This gives you one more round and slightly lighter recoil with that 32 h and mag, and because it's chambered in this cartridge, you can actually also shoot 32 Smith. Smith & Wesson Long, and it's widely available, at least it is at Target Sports USA, the sponsor of today's video. Now, these guys have a ton of different ammo, and if you're looking for obscure calibers, it's incredibly easy to navigate, and on top of that, they've got an Ammo Plus membership service where you can sign up and get 8% off and free shipping with no order minimums. When I purchased this revolver used, but in like new condition, I headed straight over there and found the cheapest 32 Smith & Wesson Long on the internet, grabbed a couple of boxes, Save my 8% since I signed up for that program and got free shipping. It's a great opportunity. If you sign up using the special link over on the campsite page and it's your first time, you'll get something free with your first order. Now let's dig into the full overview of this handgun. Now, why would you want something like this for your collection? And for me, this is a very interesting personal defense style revolver. It gives you one more round than a 38 Special. And when you're talking about five or six rounds, I'd much rather have six in my pocket than five. Also, if you felt like the 38 Special was just a little bit too snappy, this really dampens the recoil depending on what load you select because you can kind of tone it down with the Smith & Wesson Long. You can also get jacketed hollow points, full lead nose rounds, and a wide variety of 32 H&R mag rounds that packs a little bit more of a punch. This one also has the exposed hammer, so if you did need to take distance shots, you can easily take those shots with this incredibly nice trigger. I'll show you guys that it's clear one more time. You cock that hammer back, and Smith's revolvers just have very, very nice triggers. No take up and a clean break. The double action mode is going to be a little bit stiff, but that is because this is truly a defensive revolver. The air weight frame is incredibly lightweight, so if you wanted to put this in an in the waistband holster, even a pocket holster, or in your jacket, that would be great. I love winter carry guns like this because with a vest or a light jacket, you could slide this in your pocket in a little pocket holster and you could be good to go. I normally tote these when I'm at flea markets, hiking around in the woods. It just makes a simple grab point and shoot style gun. The sights on this are actually fairly adequate for what they are. You can line them up and I was easily getting groups smaller than the size of my fist right at about seven yards, no problems whatsoever in single action mode. When I tried it in double action mode and dumb cylinders, I could easily hit man-sized targets at 15 yards. No issues whatsoever. So again, practical accuracy for defensive purposes is on point with this handgun, both in double action and single action mode. I want to talk about the reliability of Smith revolvers in general, and honestly, I've never had any issues out of any of my J-Frame revolvers. Now, there's some other revolvers that I've been shooting for a while, which is the J-Frame size revolvers in all steel, and they definitely absorb the recoil a little bit better, but the 32 h and mag in an aluminum airweight frame is like the perfect hybrid between lightweight concealed carry and having a potent round inside your cylinder, again, having that plus one without getting any thicker than some of the other revolvers. In summary, this is a very unique revolver, and I'm super glad to add it to the collection. This one's not going to stay in just the drawer somewhere. I'm actually going to carry this revolver. I've put about 100 rounds through it so far without any issues, no rotating issues, no feed issues, no function issues whatsoever, so it's going to go into the carry rotation fairly quick. If you were an looking for a, a lighter recoiling revolver but still wanted that j frame size and wanted more of a punch than the 22 mag or 22 long rifle versions of this this 32 h and r mag that takes 32 smith and wesson long is a great option and i feel like is so underrated by revolver companies i really wish companies would bring back not only the 32 smith and wesson long but 32 h and r mag and even 32 acp can still carry revolvers for unique and interesting situations is this going to be my daily carry? No. I like a good 9mm, and there's even better pocket 380s like the Ruger LCP Max. It holds 10 rounds of 380 that can slide in my pocket. But this, again, is a great just winter carry gun where you can have a 
a little bit thicker jacket pockets, and you don't want to deal with a semi-auto. There's advantages of shooting a revolver for concealed carry over semi-autos, like the fact that you can actually slide this in your pocket and pull the trigger and fire, as I've demonstrated on the channel before, without even drawing it. But how often are you going to run into something like that? Probably not a ton, but that's for another video, the advantages and disadvantages of concealed carrying a revolver. Let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below, and would you ever carry the Smith & Wesson 431 PD in any circumstances? Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.